What's going on everyone? My name's Michael Enriquez. I'm a bus operator as well as a certified shop steward. And this is the third installment of our FMLA series where we're gonna talk about healthcare provider certification forms and how you can avoid this very common headache associated with them. But before we dive in, if you're watching this on YouTube and if you haven't already, please take a second to subscribe to our channel or if you're watching us on Facebook, please like or follow our page. So one common theme that I see recurring over and over again, particularly with work partners in the Department of Buses, is that they will give you a call and tell you that you're using too much FMLA. Insane, I know. But this is one way that you can actually avoid it. Under the FMLA law, the employer's FMLA administrator has the right to request what's known as a recertification if the amount of FMLA leave you're using is very different than the amount of FMLA leave the doctor that filled out your form estimated you would need. If a recertification is requested, the employer's FMLA administrator may provide you with a list of dates they felt exceeded your estimated leave and ask the doctor that filled out the FMLA paperwork to certify those absences. To avoid this, it's important to ensure that the doctor who completes the certification form doesn't underestimate the time they foresee you needing to use FMLA. To see how much time the doctor that completed the certification form estimated you would need, we will look at the certification form. If you work in the Department of Buses, work partners would have sent you the Department of Labor certification form. All other departments will use the MTA form, but can use the Department of Labor form if they wish. If the certification is for your own serious health condition, you can find this information in Part B on page 3 of the Department of Labor form or in Part B on page 4 of the MTA form. If the certification is for your family member, you can find this information in Part B on page 4 of both the Department of Labor and MTA forms. So the next time you take your paperwork to your doctor or your family member's doctor, just take a quick look at it before you leave. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, if you're watching this on YouTube, please take a second to subscribe to our channel. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, please like and follow our page. Until next time.